I found this boat on Craigslist, $600. Well, we're picking up the sailboat today and we're going to take it about 30 miles from here and park it up, do a little work on the trailer and uh, kind of sort through some things. This should be interesting. It's very wet today. We're behind a barn and there's a lot of mud. Oh, we're doing a little cleaning on the boat. $600 special sailboat. So far we did very well. It's got most of the equipment. It's just in bad shape and there's about 50 gallons of water in the fields down here. Another sail. Wait a minute, this is spinnaker. Look at that sweet. Look at that. Brand new cockpit, cockpit cushion. Mm. Brand new. Look at him. Beautiful blue color. It's hundreds of dollars worth of shit right here. Brand perfect new. Fifty, sixty dollar anchor. Mm -hmm. In the last uh, 30 minutes or so, I kind of, I think I figured out what boat it is. Okay, right now, I'm going to begin the very tedious process of pulling off all the hardware on the boat. All the cleats and winches and uh, tra sail tracks, everything. And once you've got everything removed, then we'll go ahead and do a nice cleaning of the boat some sanding and we'll start putting the paint on both in, inside and outside. Okay, so this morning we're going to uh, do some sanding on the inside of the sailboat and uh, get off some of the old paint and uh, just kind of clean up the fiberglass. So in this case, we want to make sure that we wear uh, protective clothing because the fiberglass has very tiny particles. It'll itch like hell later on. Man, this is nasty work. There's a lot of uh, fine particles. We've got to stand up uh, the peeling paint on the inside of the boat. It's We're going to be spraying inside the boat. We're going to put down a coat of primer so that we can uh, put the interior paint on later on. Today we're going to start painting the boat. Get you some air. <coughs> Is that thing working for you, Will? Oh, yeah. I'm painting the inside of the boat uh, a nice red. It will go very well with our blue cushion. Something a little different on the inside of the sailboat. Normally everybody paints it white. It's going to require me to make a couple coats probably. And it's kind of hard work getting all the coats. Uh, it's taking a while getting all these nooks and crannies, but I think the color's going to look good. It's very hard to crawl into a space and uh, start painting. The inside of the boat is finished, and we're going to start painting the outside today. We'll do the top deck first in white and then the hull will be in blue. We're going to paint the outside of the boat a nice blue color and we're going to use the roll and tip method where we use a uh, regular paint roller, roll on the paint and then use a foam brush to lightly tip it over the, the top of the paint. It kind of smooths out the bubbles.
you know how it is with these projects. You get to the winter months, and uh, you just don't feel like doing anything. So the boat's been sitting all through the winter, and really the only thing I've accomplished is uh, I made a couple of companionway hatches out of some plywood, and I got all the hardware mounted back on the boat. Um, we'll spend the, the next summer putting everything back together and hopefully getting the boat in the water. Okay, today we're going to be doing some work on the boat and uh, put some lights on and kind of finish up things that need to be attached to the sailboat proper. And then we're going to start working on the mast. splash the sailboat for the first time. We're going to gently ease the sailboat down there. We haven't used it with this trailer or this loading ramp before so we don't know how it's going to go. And the boat's never been in the water so we don't know if it's actually going to be water tight or not. It's the first maiden voyage of the sailboat. It floats! We're not sinking! 